Hi, it's Anders here. We're going to take a look at this uh, super micro computer that I have here. Um, it's primarily used for virtualization. It's a little AMD thing you can get on uh, Newegg. Uh, so let's take a look at it. Uh, everything kind of comes off without screws, which is nice. Or at least it had screws at one point. It doesn't now. So what we got here is a um, uh, two Athlons. There's uh, one here and one behind this riser thing. There's another one there. There's uh, enough for uh, uh, 128 gigs of RAM, um, of which I have 32 gigs populated. Um, there's only two of these fans. These are these are fan units. Only two of them are real. This one and this one. Um, I suppose you you add to it as you get more drive and uh, more. Uh, PCI coverage. Um, let's take a look at the front of this thing. There are uh, drive bays in the front of this thing. Uh, you can get the idea that they sort of slide out. These are um, little one terabyte uh, SATA drives, 7200 RPM. Not the fastest, but uh, uh, certainly better than a 54. Um, and there are eight of them, so eight terabytes. And then behind this little bay, I have another 500 gig drive, which I use to actually boot this thing. Um, so let's take a look at, uh, at how it all runs um, when you get it going. So let's give this thing a try. Uh, I initially booted with a little flash drive thing because there's no, uh, I don't have a, uh, a CD-ROM in this, uh, this thing or DVD or anything like that. Only thing you do with that is really, you know, install operating systems. So I just made a uh, little Gen 2 um, AMD 64 um, uh, thing on the flash, and it works great. Um, these chips, by the way, are are six core. They're not eight core or four core. They're they're six core, which is very strange. And I asked a friend of mine what the story was with that, and basically, uh, apparently, they're taken from the edge of uh, uh, wafers rather than throwing out an entire processor just because one or two of these cores doesn't work. They, they package these six core uh, versions, just mark a core too bad. So I've got, uh, I've got two of those in there, so that adds up to 12 cores. So uh, um, let's fire it up and take a look, see how it looks. Um, I'll open this up so you can see drives. Um, hit power, lights dim. Um, got just a sort of a crap monitor on it. It's relatively quiet, which is, you know, key for what I'm trying to do. Uh, very important. Um, takes forever for you to actually see anything, but uh, eventually you'll get it. There's an LSI card, hardware RAID card on the uh, drives, and I basically ignore it. I just use it to uh, directly access the drives. And then I do a... Uh, uh, so here's the LSI boot up. I, I directly access the drives and I do a suffer RAID 5 over it because that's uh, a lot better. Um, uh, be, you know, I would, don't have to buy a license key, which is key. Um, these drives will take a second to, to boot up and then what you'll notice uh, that I have, there we go, they're all kind of registering. Big servers take years to boot up, literally, uh, it feels. So I've got nine drives. The, the 500 gig is going to be used uh, to boot. There's the eight uh, hot swappable drives. Um, and there we go. So the operating system looks for the 500. And, uh, or the BIOS, I should say, looking for an operating system. Last checks on the BMC, make sure that's up and running. And uh, so I have Xen and Linux. Linux is just uh, straight up Linux. Xen uh, uh, boots a uh, Xen kernel and then uh, uh, brings up Linux on top of that. So that's what we'll do. We'll hit boot. So we pick up Xen. Uh, which sits under Linux. Basically, it's the bare metal operating system. Just really a broker um, for the hypervisor. 
and we should see it. There's all our CPUs. Now it's scrubbing the RAM, the 32 gigs of RAM. Just takes a little bit. DOM0 has a maximum of 12 vCPUs. So here's Linux booting. I had to put this MPT2 SAS uh, driver on there, which is uh, uh, you have to. It's just not part of Linux. Uh, the Linux uh, kernel drivers. So you have to you have to get that on your own. Um, which is literally why I needed that 500 gig. I couldn't use a partition on the uh, um, on the big RAID. So what I've done here is made a uh, uh, a large RAID across the um, the eight drives, and uh, that's RAID 5 software RAID. Linux deals with it. Um, I just glopped all the disks together, and then uh, uh, we go from there. So, now we have, or very soon, a booted system. And because it's uh, ever so slightly loud, we're going to move upstairs and we'll uh, access it over the net. We could have done all this over the net, including the booting and watching BIOS through the, uh, the KVM monitor, but um, we're not doing that. So here we go. So now let's get to this machine over the net. Um, I have it running on uh, 251. Um, let's log in as root. Um, so here's the machine. Um, your typical Linux setup. You notice we have uh, Zen running here. Um, so let's look at uh, how we uh, how we get this uh, this raid going. So first of all, in dev there's um, MD0 here, and if we cat proc uh, MD stat, we see that uh, MD0 is a raid five made of all of these disks. There's eight of eight of them up, and there's a little U for each one right there. Um, basically, I've taken all the uh, disks and made one partition on each, the size of the disk. So we have uh, eight terabytes there, and then uh, we've uh, glommed it all together in, in a RAID and, and got it up and going. Then I did something, I guess, slightly unorthodox. Um, I did a uh, uh, PV create. So this is um, uh, physical volume create. This is part of the LVM tools and I, I said that dev uh, MD0 was a physical volume. Um, when I created that um, I created a volume group uh, for just that volume. So if we do uh, volume group display um, we should see uh, that we have here's VG0 uh, it's a 6.37 terabyte uh, volume group, and uh, all the disks are sort of up and running in there. Then I did, um, I made a bunch of logical volumes. We hit uh, LV display, we'll pipe this through more. Um, I made a bunch of logical volumes. This one, LV0, is uh, 128 gigs. And there's a bunch of them. Here's LV1. It's a, it's 128 gigs as well, and you know, two and three and four and five and six and seven. So there's 828 gig uh, pieces I've pulled out of that MD0, and then the last piece, uh, this um, eight one here, is uh, uh, 5.37 terabytes. Um, that's basically the rest of the disk. So I've got eight 128 gig pieces, and then the rest of the disk. 